welcome to the short overview of capitalism modernism and postmodernism by terry eagleton about the author terry eagleton terry eagleton is an internationally celebrated english literary theorist and critic he has been a prominent critic of postmodernism his thinking is influenced by marxism and christianity As a distinguished professor of English literature, Eagleton has written around 50 books. His best-known work, Literary Theory and Introduction, was published in the year 1983. His Marxist ideas are evident throughout the book, and the book remains to be an academic bestseller. About the essay. The essay, Capitalism, Modernism and Postmodernism, was published in the journal New Left Review in the year 1983 the essay is a response to frederick jameson's essay postmodernism or the cultural logic of late capitalism this essay exposes eagleton's postmarxist analysis of literature and accounts the role of capitalism and how it influences art The essay is a classic example of the critical insights and informs the two forms of literature namely modernism and postmodernism. Eagleton begins the essay by quoting Frederick Jameson's idea of calling postmodernism as the cultural logic of late capitalism. For Jameson, pastiche is an appropriate mode of the postmodernist culture. The meaning for the word pastiche is that it is an artistic work that imitates another work or artist. Postmodernism mimes art and social life and thus it is a mockery of society. Eagleton however agrees with this judgment but adds that there cannot be denied the existence of an element of parody in it. For Eagleton postmodernism parodies modernism Postmodernism by the act of mockery also destroys autonomy of art and appears to caricature the modernist vision. Eagleton refers to William Morris, the celebrated Victorian poet, who dreamt that art might dissolve into social life. It now appears that he acted as though he were a prophet of late capitalism. For Eagleton, postmodernism asserts that art does not reflect life. Art does not reflect the world because there is nothing to mirror. What we consider real is nothing but an image or spectacle. For Eagleton, social reality is art, an aesthetic commodity, packaged and commodified. Capitalism has turned art into a commodity. that is a product that can be bought and sold art and life interbreed or mixed that is art models itself upon a commodity form with the aesthetic attraction let me explain capitalism capitalism is about an economical and political system in which a country's trade and industries are controlled by private owners for profit rather than by the state In the capitalist system self identity and self sufficiency appear as a commodity fetish In capitalism a commodity is a fetish or a talisman that is an inanimate object or shit for its supposed magical pass The major theorist of postmodernism John Francois Lyotta pointed out that in late capitalism performativity principle is all that matters the term performativity was first introduced by the theorist j l austin the concept places emphasis on the manners by which identity is passed or brought to life by authoritative speech as art becomes commodity it is the performance or action or authoritative speech sustains the selling at the top and most valued Eagleton thus sees a rapid decline of interest in classical thoughts and ideologies. Classical models of truth and understanding are not relevant anymore because the concepts of truth and reason are replaced by words like performativity and power. What is modernity? According to Eagleton, modernism is neither a cultural practice nor historical period. 
it is permanent and disrupts categorization and periodization modernism never dies and is born again sometime in near future and performs its role of rebelling as history and modernity move in circles history can never defeat modernity eagleton also considers and supports the views of paul damann the most influential of american deconstructionists damann argues that forgetting history can never be successful as literature wakes up from the nightmare of history in simple for damann literature is ruined or baffled or confused modernism for eagleton modernism is also interesting as it struggles for meaning he quotes the reputed german writer franz kafka who inherits the traditional form of storytelling without truth contents it is this continual struggle of meaning that makes modernism so interesting and fascinating thus for eagleton this does not mean that we have to abandon the search for truth conclusion postmodernism has taken quite a few things from modernism the fragmented self bizarre experiences and dissolution of thought into social life it also has taken the rejection of tradition and opposition to high culture modernism considered politics as belonging to the traditional humanism from which it wanted to escape thus the self reflexiveness of modernist culture becomes unavailable to the public it thus remained concealed beneath the mythical and the metaphysical thank you